<laughs> Jenny Han is a best-selling author, and many call her the teen voice of this generation. Han's New York Times best-selling novel, To All the Boys I've Loved Before, will be available to stream on Netflix on August 17th. Let's take a look at the trailer for this highly anticipated film. Junior year. I can hardly believe it. Thanks, Dad. We need to talk about your sexual health. No, no, please no. I want you to be safe. Dad, why are you giving me these? Don't forget to have fun. Yes, well, I have a lot of rubbers for that, specifically. I think you should branch out, make some new friends. Nope. You never know what could happen. That's what I'm afraid of. My letters are my most secret possessions. I write them when I have a crush so intense, I don't know what else to do. There are five total. Peter, the most popular guy in school. Kenny from camp. Lucas from homecoming. John Ambrose from Model UN. And Josh, but he's my sister's boyfriend. What are you doing? Nothing. Nobody else knows about them. Hey, can I talk to you? I, I really I appreciate it, but it's never gonna happen. I'm sorry, what? I think it's really cool that you think I have golden specks in my eyes. Oh my god. It's Josh. Oh my god. Oh, okay. The letters are out. Women. Tell me about it. Here's the thing. I had to make it look like I liked you so somebody else wouldn't think I liked them. What if we let people think that we were actually together? Let's do this. I've never seen you so happy. Did you mean what you wrote in the letter? I'm lying to every single person in my life. Just don't hide yourself, okay, honey? You can't just sit up in your room writing love letters. You gotta tell people how you feel when you feel it. You never saw me. Ow, 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 ow. I like me better when I'm with you. <laughs> Please give a warm build brunch welcome to Jenny Hahn. <laughs> Thank you guys for having yeah. me. This is so much Thank fun. You. Your best-selling book, um, which debuted on the New York Times best-selling list, it's going to be made into a Netflix film, which debuts August 17th, this Friday, mm -hmm. to all the boys I've loved before. Tell us about that and that process. We're excited to watch it. Thank you. Well, it's about a girl who writes love letters to boys when she is trying to get over them, mm -hmm. move on. And it's actually from my own life. I used to write love letters uh -huh. when I was trying to get over somebody. And then hers all get thinned out. Mine did not. Okay. Okay. That's That's not. <laughs> so glad you survived that. Yeah. I survived. None of my letters got sent. However, I did send one love letter oh. myself. I don't know if I've spoken about this publicly. Oh. It's to Leo DiCaprio. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> did he respond? No, he didn't. We all wrote those letters. Right? Okay. It was just like a little fan mail. It was a good one to send, the pick yeah. one, for sure. I love that. So the, the process of writing the book and getting it to, made into a film, what was that like? Because it seems like it could be really difficult, but you had a best-selling book, so maybe that makes I it mean, easier. I mean, you know what? Actually, it was a long process. Um, I think it's fairly common for an author to get a book optioned, mm -hmm. but then it's super rare to actually get made. It's just a long kind of a slog. But um, for this one in particular, I think the biggest challenge was people didn't, early on, producers who were interested didn't understand why she needed to be Asian, mm -hmm. even though wow. like she's yeah. Asian. <laughs> yeah, you're like, like you see me and you see the book cover, right? Like it's all Asian, but um, people didn't really understand that, and so then that was like a deal breaker for me. Right. Um, so it took time for me to like find the partners who would be on board with that. So had they asked for you to change the race of the character? They didn't even realize that that was gonna be an issue. Oh, because mm. wow. they'd be like, oh, you know, we're thinking like Shailene, we're thinking, right. you know what I mean, right. Belle Fanning, and I was like, oh, they're great. But you know the character's Asian, yeah. so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So. Woo! Like, this is not up for dispute. Um, yeah. She's Asian. Are you Are you excited that the film's gonna be on Netflix? I feel like that's such a great platform for this story to be on. I am so excited about it. I think partly because um, I have a lot of fans like in other countries um, who are super passionate and have been like devoted to the series all along. So I love that my fans in Brazil, you know, Mexico. Um, 
Philippines, they can all see it at the same time, which is right. super special. Yeah. yeah, that's great. What is it like to share stories that are so personal to you? I mean, you said like your own experience writing those letters and now having uh, you know, the world be a part of that story. Ooh, now I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's one thing when it's a book, right? Because um, I don't know, book, the book world is much smaller and, mm. and kind of intimate. And then in the movie, it's a little overwhelming because it's just a bigger audience. Yeah. So I guess I'm a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm nervous. <laughs> no, no, don't be nervous. Seriously, we nervous. all had the same reaction when we watched the trailer. And, yeah. and we were like, we have to watch. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. It's so cool. And I love that the main character, Lara Jean, is not like your typical 16-year-old girl that you see in things where she's like out partying. She's more of a stay-at-home, scrapbooking, like very <laughs> laid back. I can relate. Mm -hmm. um, how, like, was that you? And like, how was that? Like, do you think that this needs to be seen? represented also. Yeah, I think so. I was really specifically wanting to present a certain kind of girl that I think is less visible in media. And I think it is great if you want to go party and do all that stuff. <laughs> I think I like I think that's awesome. Yeah. I also think it's awesome if you just want to be baking some brownies and like hanging out with your dad on a Saturday <laughs> night. Yeah. Like you know, I don't think everyone's ready for the same things. It's so true. At the same yeah. Time. yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I totally uh, agree, and I, I don't feel like I see that in, in film and in television stories enough. I think it's right. maybe less interesting, but then <laughs> the job is to like make it interesting, right. make it right. still yeah. feel really rich and like a complex inner life. Yeah, I love that because it takes the pressure off. As a teenager, I felt like I was like a, a loser. Not that I was a loser, I was super cool, but I was like, <laughs> oh man, I'm not getting wasted and I'm not yeah. like doing things that I'm not ready for yet. But it's, I think this is going to be really cool for teens to have this. Thanks. Do you think that's why so many people can connect to her? Because even watching that trailer, you know, obviously I'm not in high school anymore, but I was like, I can still identify with this, this young woman. I hope so. I mean, so much of me is in the character. And I'm not old, but I'm not, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that young. So, like, I started writing at a very young age. Mm -hmm. So um, that's how, how, partly why I got into YA, because I was just out of my teens when I started doing it. But I think that it's just a relatable character and I think for me my readers I meet them when I go on tour and half of them are adults mm -hmm. right. so I love that that's so cool we're all what's also we're at this time now you know crazy rich Asians is coming out uh, just came out which is fantastic and you know when you mentioned it before how the um, studios or producers did not even think about why of course we'd cast a white girl in it so does it feel extra special that like now you're, you've written this book series, an Asian main character now that's like going to be an Asian, a film with an Asian star. Like, is that extra special right now? It is for me. I've yeah. never had that experience before of seeing an Asian American girl be the lead of a teen mm -hmm. movie before. Right. Um, so, you know, with the book, when we were working on the cover, I said I really wanted it to be photographic mm -hmm. um, so that, that an Asian American girl could have that experience walking into a bookstore and she sees someone who looks like her be at the center and not the sidekick, mm -hmm. you know? And so for me, it's just even more special to have this happen with a movie because I think it'll reach an even broader audience. And there's parts of her Korean heritage in the book, so are those also gonna be in the film as well? Yeah, and like, it was great that I was on set and so I could kind of like weigh in on things and I was <laughs> like, can we please make sure there's a rice cooker <laughs> in the kitchen or like, um, the opening scene, I was there while they were filming it and she's wearing like sneakers in bed mm -hmm. and she has her feet on the wall and I was like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not, <laughs> not in the Asian household. No, please take them off. And so they were like, oh, yeah, sure, sure. But, you know, um, things like that. I think those little details are what make a family feel real. Mm -hmm. Right. Absolutely. What was that experience like being on set for, you know, I mean, when you're authoring a book, you have total creative control. And then I feel like I would be like micromanaging and like, you know, you can't control everything, but like seeing that vision come to life and also wanting to weigh in, like what, what was that like? Well, you know what? I think it's more, you can't control anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought you have to like um, kind of lean into that. Yeah. Because, you know, I walked into it feeling like the book and the movie are two separate entities and right. I have like sold these rights for them to create their interpretation of what it's gonna be and that's their vision. And I just wanna be there to like, help make that the best you know, version it could be. And I saw my role as the person who was gonna speak on behalf of the book bands, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, and cause I know what they care about and I know um, what matters to them. So that's how I saw it. You had a much more a healthy attitude. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like that would be so oh, no. hard. I think sometimes there's a misunderstanding with fans who are upset at authors about certain things in the movie and you're going, we actually don't have any control over it. Right. Like we can give our two cents. And in my case, um, 
the director was great and the producers were great and so they were very receptive to my ideas, but that doesn't mean they take every idea. Right. And you really can't have like a million people being like trying to direct a ship either. Right. So just keep that in mind, book fans. That of course. <laughs> <laughs> authors don't really get control. And there's another book in the series, right? It's called P.S. I Still Two more books. You. Two yes. more books. So where where are you at with those books? I know one has been released. Is the other one still in the works? They're all, nope, they're, they're all, all out. out. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. And then are you going to make movies of those? I mean, I guess we'll see how this one does. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. There's no... Wood here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All not going on. Thank would, you. Yeah, would, you ever, would you ever write the screenplay for your own book? I mean, I think I would welcome the opportunity to if, if I was asked. I'm working on a new YA thing cool. also, so I'm just kind of like busy. So yeah, what's, what's, well, I was, I'm always interested in YA material because I don't, I don't read a lot of it, but I do like it when I can like watch it or read it. What, what makes YA? What do you like? Like, um, well, I wouldn't consider it's the sci -fi, some sci-fi okay. stuff. Like, I'm more the, I like, because why they, they do a lot of fantasy, mm -hmm. which I really love. So I watch like, a lot of, like some CW shows or whatever. Um, <laughs> or whatever. Or whatever. Yeah. What? Don't worry. CW or whatever. <laughs> whatever, yeah. Um, I'm cool. Uh, but um, what is it why that makes it so that you can, like, take more risks or just, like, a more... Like, what's, what's such a, why is it such a fascinating genre to write for? I mean, for me, I think it's interesting because that time of your life is so raw, mm -hmm. and you're experiencing so many things for the first time ever, and things are just generally gonna be more interesting because it's right. the first time you're experiencing it. Um, I also think that YA as a designation, there's just so many different kinds, um, just the way that there are so many different kinds of adult books of as well. Um, and I think it's a pretty exciting time to be writing YA right now, yeah. um, just because there's so much. And like when I started out 10 years ago, there was very limited bookshelf space. Mm -hmm. And the game really changed when T Twilight came out. Yes. And then suddenly it was like a million more vampire books and then Hunger Games and there's been these big bumps um, to where now the bookshelves are, are quite large. Totally. It's amazing. Awesome. One, I was going to say one fun fact I learned about you is that you used to be a librarian, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, My sister's a librarian. Oh, cool. Oh, my God. You're librarians. So cool. Yeah. Yeah, I was a school librarian um, here in New York for six years. Nice. Did you ever have to reprimand kids for not returning those books? <laughs> I mean, yes. I was like the mean one. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, I like think you claim that. Yeah, that's no, good. because they would be like eating. And I'd be like, guys, guys, that's not cool. Like, yeah. I've told you a million times, no Cheetos. <laughs> like, the books are ruined. Oh, yeah, they're like, yeah. Yeah. And they're, yeah. yeah um, Don't mess with the Dewey Decimal. Don't. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But doesn't that make a book better when you're like, wow, a lot of people have read this. Look at all these Cheeto books. <laughs> no? That, I think it's like it's a popular book. No. We all, She's like, no. No, no, like, no, no, no that's good. Yeah, no. Respect, really not yeah. Respect right, the book. Sorry, Respect I'm the book. We, we also heard that you're actually, an, and I have this written down on my card here, an expert on the dialogue of the movie Clueless. <laughs> that is true. Yay. Can you please um, tell us a little about that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think it's a, it's a classic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it, you mean, it's a really well done movie, and that's an adaptation as well. Right. Mm -hmm. Of Pride and Prejudice. Mm -hmm. Wait, no, I'm sorry, Emma. Emma of Emma. Emma. Um, yeah. Sorry, now I'm embarrassed. I've no, that's not good enough. You're an expert. You're an expert. Add that to the resume. This is a safe space. We make mistakes all the time. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank Don't you. Don't worry. Don't um, yeah, but I do love it. I hope that To All the Boys will hold that same mm. kind of like place in people's hearts as like a really warm, funny teen love story. Oh, so, I love that. Yeah, yeah, I think it will. I think actually you should resend that letter to Leah. <gasps> Because yes. I think now is your time, mm. and I think this time he might respond. I, I think Leo's dating someone new these days. Like, He's always dating somebody new, though. That's yeah. the Doesn't point. Doesn't matter, wreck it. Could be you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can kidnap that person. Like, and get Leo. <laughs> <laughs> we all support you. We will write letters Thank you. for you to him. Yeah. I'm going to do guys. that. guys. Yeah. appreciate it. <laughs> and because we are a brunch show, you're based in Brooklyn, so we have to ask you, what is one of your favorite brunch spots in New York? OK, um, probably, I love going to um, Oh wait, it's in Soho, mm -hmm. okay. and it's got like green. My Jack's wife, Frida. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And they have That's a really a delicious green yes. sauce they put on their like poached eggs mm -hmm. um, with like cheese. Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> I love it. I love Jack's wife, Frida, uh, and I loved having you on the show today. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Film adaptation of Jenny Han's book to all the boys I've loved before drops this Friday on Netflix. We'll see you tomorrow, same time, same table. Thank you. Guys.